our fingers are a very important part of our bodies. They enable us to feel touch as an expression of affection. They even find occurrence in romantic quotes like, the way our fingers intervene feels so natural and right, as if our hands hold memories of meeting in a thousand other lifetimes, said by John Mark Green. They also let us eat, pick an object. Um, what else? You take a guess. Oh, I'm even pointing with my fingers. Due to their significance and important role, the bones present in our fingers are super important to study. You can easily palpate these bones by feeling your fingers like this. The bones of fingers are called phalanges in the language of anatomy. Phalanx is for a single bone and phalanges for all. As you can see, we have 14 phalanges in one hand. Phalanges is basically a Greek word, literally means log, and was used for both line of battle, like position of troops and standing arrangement of soldiers for attack. So if you look at the phalanges, you can see they might as well look like little soldiers at the end of our limbs. Just like carpals and metacarpals of the hand relate to tarsals and metatarsals of the foot. The phalanges can be found both in our hands and foot. Fingers of our hands and toes of our foot have total number of 56 bones. The phalanges in both hands have 28 bones. Can you count? Well, I will help you to count and name them all. Just stick to this lecture. Phalanges of hand are quite similar to phalanges of foot. Sometimes it is quite difficult to distinguish both. Both are equal in number. However, foot phalanges are comparatively smaller in size. Also, the foot phalanges shaft are circular when seen in cross section. Whereas shaft of hand phalanges are flattened from the palmar surface and forms a half circle in cross section. In today's lecture, we will talk about phalanges of our hand only. We will cover phalanges of foot in a separate lecture, but we have already covered the basis here. So don't worry, I got your back. If you just observe, these are the phalanges of hand and they are located just below the knuckles. Knuckles are a part of finger at the joint where the bone is near the surface, especially where the finger joins the hand. So basically these are the knuckles. Their function is to grip, grasp and form precise movements like writing, swing or punching somebody in the face. Phalanges are small in size but they are characterized as a long bone because of their structure. They are hard and dense and like any other long bone has a proximal part, a shaft and a distal part. Now let's take a closer look at the proximal part which is also known as the head and has a concave articular surface broader from side to side. Then comes the shaft or the body, which is flat and concave on palmar side and convex on the volar side. Then after that we have the distal part, which is smaller than the proximal and ends in two condyles which are separated by a shallow groove. Here we have mentioned one phalanx. It is the same for all the phalanges. Don't get confused here with these terms as I will explain to you all these landmarks in details. As you can observe, we have 28 phalanx in both our hands and 14 in each hand. Two of these phalanx can be found in the thumb. Each finger has three phalanx, so collectively they are 14 in numbers. Wow, so many bones to remember, isn't it? So let's make it easier for you and more interesting for you. Due to their location, these phalanges are divided into distal, which is away from the body, the middle, and the proximal phalanges, which is towards the body. You should notice that the thumb lack middle phalanges. 
See out of these phalanges of each finger, this one is the proximal phalanges, right beside the metacarpals. They look quite like metacarpals but are shorter in size and lack rounded heads. Next to them is the middle phalanges, which connects the proximal and the distal phalanges through interphalangeal joints. The topmost is the distal phalanges, which is also known as the fingertips. It is a bit different in shape, as you can see, and smaller in size. Thumb has only two phalanges, proximal and the distal one. As I told you before, all phalanges have two surfaces, the volar and the dorsal surface. The volar surface of the hand, which is basically the palmar side, if you look from this side, the radius is located laterally in line with the thumb and ulna located medially in line with the little finger. Now, on the dorsal surface is the opposite of the palm where nails are present. The volar surface of the hand, which is basically the palmar side, and the dorsal surface of the hand, which is basically where the nails are present. Let's move on to the next section where we will learn about the anatomical landmarks, the joints and the ligaments that stabilizes this joint.